everybody can see me now. I was having some technical difficulty. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, so thanks for being here. If you can hear this, uh, so I have my booby rocks in. You can't see them, uh, but I, I'm ready to keep any bad juju off, right? <laughs> I got my my April Fool's hair color on. <laughs> Shoot, even my hair's walking around naked since no one's seen me coming. <laughs> since nobody's coming over. <sighs> oh, hey, Lisa and Mom. Thanks. Welcome back. I was having some issues. You were saying I was live. I really wasn't. I don't know. It was a sick joke. Um. So then, uh. Ah, oh, thanks, Jamie. Welcome back. Um, and nothing says, hey, look at my six chins. Like, <laughs> like this kick-ass bull. <laughs> and this silly little baby hat. Can you see it? You see it? It's a little baby hat. It's funny. <laughs> like, it would just be a good hat for a hamster. <laughs> so yeah, this is like my April Fool's hair color, right? April Fool's because it's naked. Um, okay, so if you're joining me today and don't know me, welcome. Oh, hey, Keith. Yay. And Jason uh, and Keisha, welcome back. Um, oh, thanks. My notes just left. Um, <laughs> so if you're joining me today and you don't know me, welcome. Uh, glad you found me. If you do know me, welcome back. So, uh, what I would like to do this time, because last time people weren't sure, like, what was happening, because uh, this is going to be a little laugh and meditation. Uh, so, I just want to tell you that um, what my intention is. So, I want to express that my intention with my actions today is if you don't know me, uh, because they may be misconstrued based on your experiences, right? Uh, <laughs> I know, can we just look at this little baby hat again? <laughs> and this fun little boa, because we can, and it's Friday, and I got my little eye makeup on. I get that a lot of when people are like, hey, is that a tattoo? No, it's eyeliner. Thank you. So let's see it again. You see it? <laughs> hey, Jason. Uh, um, oh, yeah, Keith, this is my April Fool's hair. So this is my naked hair. Um, okay, so my mission, let's show you. Uh, my mission here, if you can see it, is to build a healing space of connection through laughter and inspiration. So I want to make sure that if you're viewing my live videos for laughing meditation, um, that you know that I am literally just laughing. Like my passion is laughing and making you laugh for you to be present with me in this moment. So I can take away your thoughts, your stress, your anxiety, right? Oh, here's my little $150 meditation drum. Let's listen to that again. Pink, 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 because it's $150. Get my money's worth. <laughs> uh, um, Okay, <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, so that's my mission. Um, I wanted to share that with you because my intention is not to create a space um, for you to kind of feel bad uh, for like, or taking this laughing personal. I'm literally just laughing to lift our vibration and to make a connection. Uh, so I'm bringing this awareness in case you perceive laughing as a trigger or ridicule or like some type of bullying. So if you are aware that this is a form and structure that you need to clear out, let's just let's just kind of take this for a hot second, okay? If you're aware of this, um, so we can do that right now. So if you want to uh, clear this out, like say you're having issues and um, we like you're taking laughing wrong, let's just you can close your looking balls. <laughs> These are your looking balls. <laughs> Okay, close those, but unless you're driving, then keep your eyes on the road. But close your eyes just for one moment, and you're going to take a deep breath. 
Okay, and if you have any barriers up, you're going to want to put those down. Okay, so put your barriers down and um, the, for anything that you might have blocking you. So imagine your embarrassment or ridicule is kind of like a building that's right in front of you. So go ahead and you can mentally knock that down and just let it crumble. Okay, that's with your eyes closed. My looking balls are open so I can make sure I get my notes. I don't want to miss anything. Uh, so that's really for you. Okay, now go ahead and mentally knock that down, let it crumble, and then what you're going to do is you're going to pull that energy right to you um, from the force of that impact, okay? And that's going to help make you stronger. So then breathe that strength in and the bullshit out, okay? Breathe it in and BS out, okay? <laughs> oh, my ball is flying all over. <laughs> Looked like a duck just farted. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. So, okay. So, right. You. So, now you feel a little bit stronger, right? Now, I found that there's an actual phobia to hearing laughter. Can you even imagine? That's terrible. But it's called gelatophobia. It's an actual thing. It's called J. It's G. E-L-O-T-O -O, phobia, okay? And it says, it's a fear of being laughed at or a type of social phobia. While most people don't like being laughed at, there is a subgroup of people that exceedingly fear it. And without obvious reasons, they relate laughter they hear to being directed at themselves. Talk about taking it personal. Okay, I am not here for that. Uh, I'm not here to ridicule or laugh at anyone for any reason. I'm just here to laugh with you for us to share in this crazy moment of happiness. So did you know that laughter burns calories? <laughs> I mean, I should be in the negative pods then, right? <laughs> uh, oh, hi guys. Hi, Sarah and Elizabeth. Good to see you, Jason, over in Florida. Uh, so I just wanted to, uh, oh yeah, so I should be in the negative pounds. And if you heard my podcast this week, you heard me say, if laughter is the best medicine, then let me be your drug dealer. <laughs> but like in the right way, in the right way. So, um, I found this on a mental health help guide. It says, it's true. Laughter is strong medicine. It draws people together in ways that trigger healthy, physical, and emotional changes in the body. Laughter strengthens your immune system, boosts your mood, diminishes pain, and protects you from damaging effects of stress. Nothing works faster or more dependably to bring your mind and body back into balance than a good laugh. Humor lightens your burdens, inspires hope, connects you to others, it keeps you grounded, focused, and alert. Alert. It helps keep, oh, it helps you release anger and forgive sooner, right? Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, that's so great. Let's just sit in that for a minute. Wow. Okay. So let's clear this out. Let's get alert and make sure you aren't eating, eating or drinking anything, okay? Because what we're going to do here is we're going to laugh again just for four minutes, okay? If you start choking, nobody can mouth to mouth you, okay? Because we're all on lockdown. So get your food out of there, okay? Don't be eating, drinking. Don't be doing anything stupid. And <laughs> all right, Jill. And all we're going to be doing is laughing for three minutes. I mean four minutes. We are going to make it four minutes, okay? Here's $150 meditation drum. You get it. Okay, I'm going to set a timer. We're going to take three deep breaths in, okay? <laughs> just in. We're not going to get them out of there. We're just doing it in. <laughs> oh, wait. Don't start laughing yet. I'm not ready. Okay. Okay, so deep breath in through your nose. <sighs> out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, are you breathing? Oh, my hat. Oh, you want me to tip my hat to you? 
<laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh, it's back here. The clipper's back here. Oh. <laughs> Stupid little hair. Okay, let's set a timer for four minutes, and we're just going to literally laugh, okay? Now, here's why this came in. Last time we were laughing, or maybe I was just laughing, and you're just laughing at me laughing. I don't even know what's funny, but we're just laughing. Somebody came in and was like, hey, what are you laughing at? I don't know what you're laughing at. What's so funny? Like, literally, we're just laughing. So for four minutes, you just laugh with me, and we're going to take away our stress. We're going to lose weight. We're going to, like, forgive people and not punch other people in our, wherever we're locked up with. Okay? Okay. So for four minutes, just laughing and ready, go. I was like drooling. 
I spit all over. I got stabbed slightly by the little boa here. I'm stabbed in the neck. I would take it off, but I may be bleeding. It's not a good look. Okay. Whew. Stay hydrated. Okay. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> hi, Erin. Libby, so cute. Gabrielle, hi. It's Stacy, hi. And Rachel, I think I said, I don't know if I said hi to you. I saw you come in when I was laughing. I mean, you can't interrupt laughing, right? Oh, okay. So, good times there. So, <clears throat> okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I hear you, Tanya. Everybody does that. Oh, gosh. This actually, it makes me crack up because... Um, what I was laughing at during that little laughing meditation is, um, we were at a restaurant one time and there was a lady across from us and we we're just laughing and having a good time. And, oh my gosh, she was so mad. Um, just so mad. And then you realize like, oh, maybe not everyone appreciates laughing, but she sure made to tell me, you know, she made it a point to come and tell me that she did not appreciate us laughing like that. Actually, she walked by, and um, <clears throat> I think she walked by, and she's like, some people are so effing rude. And she left. Like, she just left her dinner. What? Sucks for her. <laughs> Why would you miss out on food? I don't know. Maybe she need to bring earplugs for next time. Whatever. Um, so we'll do this again, but I just wanted to tell you a few things. Um... <laughs> <laughs> if you need to uh, keep laughing, or if you want me to um, be laughing with you, um, feel free to send me an email at feelthegenergy at gmail.com. So it's feel, F-E-E-L, the, T-H-E, genergy, J-E-N-E-R-G-Y, at gmail. And I have these fun little trading cards. Can you see it? There, there it is. And then you can put this in your pocket and then think of laughing every time you pull it out of there. So if you do email me, all I need is your address and I'll get that sent out. Um, and if you want more than one, just let me know. And I have these fun little stats on the back. I think it's, it might be reversed, but I'll tell you what it says, okay? It says, uh, in her own witness protection program with multicolored wigs. <laughs> all right, except for April Fool's hair. <laughs> If some of you guys came in late, I was just saying that this is uh, naked, right? It's naked because we're on lockdown and everyone else is naked and so is my hair. My hair color just left. It went out on vacation. It's left. Um, and then one of the other things on the back of the cards, it says I can supermarket sweep entire grocery store in eight minutes. Actually, it's quicker now with a mask. Oh, be like, burr. That's my mask. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, then it laughs louder than a hyena. Oh, so true. Lady at the at the restaurant made sure to tell me that. Barely able to ride a roller coaster at five foot one and three quarters. I've been sober for forty four years, <laughs> and I wear depends to events. I'm gonna laugh hard at. Kind of like this, I have on depends now. And, um, but they're just the white ones. I mean, nobody needs a color one because we're not going anywhere sassy. Err. Plus, I got a little hat that says, look up here, not down here. <laughs> okay. Then, um, oh, I have 18-inch man caps. I don't know if some of you knew that, but 18 inches, yes. And that is true. Um, I can run 0.5 miles an hour uphill to our neighbor's mailbox, Mr. Bill and Miss Elaine over there. Um, I think I told you last time he looked like Colonel Sanders, and he did not throw any chicken. But he did get a big kick out of, uh, he had a bucket of KFC over there when I did tell him I talked about him out here the other day. He was cracking up at that. Um, and lastly, my self-defense is a high kick and a rusty box cutter because you won't die from the cut. But you will from the tetanus. I <laughs> So, if you need one or some of those, email me with your address and I will get those sent out. 
Um, and let's see, what else do we have? I have some other notes for you here. Let me double check. Um, oh, okay. So um, if you did enjoy this, which I love doing, so I'm going to do this like two times a week. Um, I'm thinking like Tuesdays and Fridays. That should be good. Or maybe Monday, Thursday. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Or every day, like Lisa McMurray wanted. I mean, she'll just throw it right out there. Um, but you can find me on, we have a podcast. So if you just want to keep laughing, um, my podcast is on, we're on Podbean, Spotify, Stitcher, and iTunes. Because we're cool like that. Oh, $150 drum. Listen to the podcast. <laughs> um, so the podcast is so much energy. And then keep an eye on our website. So we have a cool website. It's so much Uh We're going to be doing two contests on there for our podcast. The prizes are going to be amazing. Like Tiger King. Amazing. <laughs> okay. And um, one last thing. Oh, shoot. I don't have it right here. Hang on, hang on, don't go anywhere. Okay, you're still there? Thanks. So, um, okay. <laughs> I want to show you this. this <laughs> okay, I've been making soap all day, and this is a glittered biscuit. Okay, it's an actual, like, biscuit, soap, biscuit that I made, and I put glitter on it. <laughs> Okay, it does not look appropriate. But what I would like to tell you is if you would like to know more about this glittered biscuit, you should come and see me. I'm doing a 30 minute comedy show tonight on LOL. So it's uh, LOL, literally, L O L dash cast, C A S T dot com. And if you create an account, you can watch my 30 minute. <laughs> no, I'm not in the bathroom, Christy. I'm in my office. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but you will find out about this glitter biscuit and how you can get your own. It's because this is part of my comedy show, and I have some other fun stuff. So I'd love for you to come and see me. Um, I got. Oh, I keep turning it. It's <laughs> glittered biscuit. It's glitter biscuit soap, um, which would be real cute in, like, your little mamma's <laughs> soap dish. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, um, so, yeah, you can see me tonight on lolcast.com. I'm doing a 30-minute show. All you do is log in there, create an account, and then you can watch my stand-up comedy live. I'm not sure if I'm going on at 8 or 8.30, um, but it's going to be 30 minutes, and I'd love for you to be there. <laughs> I know. That's kind of what it is. So the story behind this, <laughs> the story behind this is, um, this is to commemorate an event that happened to a friend when she went to the OB. That's all I'm going to say. Okay? So if you <laughs> So, if you want a card, email me your address, or you can PM me on uh, Facebook, and I'll get it out there. Or, if you need a glitter biscuit, let me know. Oh, I also have booby rocks for sale, if you need any of those. <laughs> and I have some funny, funny t-shirts um, that we're going to be putting on our website soon. So, uh, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you again next week. We're just laughing. There's nothing funny. I mean, think of something funny and just laugh. That's all that we need to do because it helps your immune system and staying safe, you know. So thanks for your time. I want you to stay safe and stay sane. That's super helpful. And I love you guys, and I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for being here. Bye. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm going to end it. Okay, bye.